Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 109, beginning in verse 11. <clears throat> and it says, Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the strangers spoil his labor. Now, remember, David is praying against sinners. And these are called imprecatory psalms. Instead of taking matters into his own hand and going after evildoers, which is the job of the government, but personally, it's not our job. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. David understood that. And so he prays in accordance with the word of God that God would go after sinners and punish them. And that's what he's doing here and has been doing. Sometimes wicked people who have influence have gotten their wealth through ungodliness and oppression. This then would be a fitting punishment for someone like that. Ask those who were abused. Ask those who were used by someone who made their wealth through oppression. Ask them what they think is fair punishment for that person. It would be fair if they would not get to enjoy the wealth that they sinned to obtain. 12. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. It is fair for a sinner to reap what they sow. It is unfortunate that as a natural consequence of a parent's sin, their children often suffer as well. And that's one of the things that makes sin so hideous. It doesn't just hurt the sinner. It hurts the innocent people who are around them as well. 13. Let his posterity be cut off. And in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. He's simply asking for the wicked person to be forgotten. And you know, God says in his word that the name of the wicked will rot. The memory of the wicked will rot. The wicked are not honored in death, and they are not missed after they died. 14. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. A person's bad ways, as well as their good ways, are sometimes learned from their parents. Not always, but sometimes. The person David is talking about and is praying about was bad. And evidently, he had learned his bad behavior from his bad parents. Sons and daughters who turn out bad, are always responsible for their own sins, and they cannot blame anyone. But if their parents influence them in the wrong way, they're going to be guilty of their part as well, because that is sinful, and they will pay for that. The sons and the daughters and the husbands and the wives and the moms and the dads all will pay for their sins. Study the whole Bible with me, verse by verse, Genesis through Revelation, using my audio Bible messages at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me. Pray for God's Word. Click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. And perfectly give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.